Last week, we watched 15 autopilot videos, and this week we're cranking up the heat with 15 more videos showing how autopilot reacts in different situations. This is part two of the autopilot special. Wham, bam, Tesla cam, I hope you're satisfied. Keith was driving his Model 3 in South Padre Island, Texas. While using autopilot, he felt the car start to move to the right. Moments later, he felt an impact. A dump truck had pulled up next to him, matched his speed, then merged right into him. Autopilot tried to get out of the way, but there was no more room on the right to avoid being hit. Keith adds there was no one in front of the truck, so there wasn't even any reason for him to change lanes. He confronted the truck driver who handed him his phone and said he didn't speak English. The truck driver's son was on the other line and said his dad told him he had scratched someone's car. The son offered Keith 500 and then 1000 US dollars. That's when Keith informed him that his dad had hit a 2020 Tesla Model 3, to which he responded, oh sh**. A police report was filed and the Tesla has been in the repair shop for over three months now with no estimate on when it will be fixed. Keith normally uses his car to make his living, so insurance will have to compensate him for all his lost income as well. Ali was driving his Model 3 in San Bernardino, California. Autopilot was engaged and he was on a time crunch on his way to pick up a new kitten. A semi-truck decided to overtake another one going up the hill, nearly running him off the road. Autopilot alerted Ali but didn't slow down, but he could feel the car steer off the road before he had a chance to fully take control and apply the brakes himself. That wasn't Ali's only encounter involving semi-trucks. This time, he was using autopilot while he tried to grab some gum out of his center console. He confesses that his eyes were not on the road for a second, and that's when his passenger yelled at the top of his lungs. Ah! He looked up and saw a semi-truck, but autopilot engaged the emergency braking this time and maintained control. Before Ali was even able to figure out what was happening, autopilot had already saved the day. We hope Ali will store his gum in a more accessible location in the future. Eyes on the road, champ. Sam was driving his Model Y with autopilot engaged in Amarillo, Texas. As he came over a blind hill, he found himself staring down a Dodge that was overtaking a semi-truck. Sam doesn't remember exactly how he reacted, but autopilot was active and his hands were on the wheel. He says that it felt like autopilot swerved to the right, but he isn't really sure. The driver behind Sam wasn't as quick to react, so they spun out toward the side of the road. Sam suspects that the Dodge might have hit the semi after passing him. Sam sent the video to both the Texas Highway Patrol and the Austin Police Department, but neither have responded yet. Jeff was driving his Model Y on a freeway outside of Billings, Montana. Autopilot was engaged when he passed a truck that was pulling a long trailer at 80 miles per hour. Just as he passed the truck, it drifted partly into his lane. He immediately took control to swerve to the left, but Autopilot moved him back into the lane to keep him from going off the freeway. They did this dance a couple of times and, as soon as the car was stable and going straight, Jeff hit the juice pedal to get clear of the danger. Song was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged on I-270 in Denver, Colorado. The road was under construction, which caused a traffic jam which affected the entire highway. Suddenly, he felt an impact from behind. Autopilot engaged braking to prevent him from rolling into the car in front of him. Apparently, the driver of the white Jeep Grand Cherokee behind him had stepped on the wrong pedal, causing the rear-end collision. Unfortunately, the rear-facing Tesla cam was damaged in the impact and some of the footage was corrupted, but it started working just after the hit. It's obvious that the Jeep driver was clearly frustrated over the situation as he tossed his front bumper cover before picking it up again. They stopped in a nearby parking lot to exchange contact information and contact their insurance providers. Sadly, this wasn't the only crash video Song sent us. This accident happened the day before his Tesla was scheduled to have the damages from the first video repaired.
The driver ahead of him slammed on their brakes unexpectedly, and Autopilot correctly applied the brakes to avoid hitting them, but the driver of the Toyota RAV4 behind him didn't react in time. This time, the Tesla cam was running and captured this video of the crash. Emergency services were quick to respond to the scene of the accident, and they closed off two lanes of the highway. Everyone involved was okay. The cost of the repairs for these two accidents is now estimated at over 30,000 US dollars. In both instances, the insurance companies of the other drivers have taken responsibility. Song says his dad is now teasing him, saying his Tesla has a magnetic rear end. This video is from the Austrian YouTuber Tesla Maniacs, who was out recording a video testing the latest version of Autopilot that had installed the other day. Just when he was about to finish his drive, a Volvo driver tried to merge into his lane without checking his blind spot for the Tesla. Tesla Maniacs took manual control since he wasn't sure what Autopilot would do and felt that it was already a close call. He's not sure if Autopilot assisted him in any way with steering or braking. Here's another angle from a GoPro he has mounted inside the cabin. We can tell that Autopilot is engaged, and when the Volvo starts to enter his lane, Tesla Maniacs gives him a little beep on the horn. Nico was driving his Model 3 with Autopilot engaged on a freeway in Eugene, Oregon when, all of the sudden, a black BMW backed out onto the freeway. Autopilot gave a warning chime and applied the brakes. Nico took over, manually swerving around the BMW since he wasn't sure what it was up to or if Autopilot was already going to swerve or not. Hussam was driving on the freeway when he watched a Kia run a stop sign. They went straight for the freeway, almost hitting him in the process. It all happened so fast, and at first he thought that Autopilot had saved him, but when he thought more about it, he realized that he never heard any alert sounds. So he's not really sure. What do you think? The submitter of this clip, Not Nick, who we're guessing is, in fact, Nick, was driving home from work one morning with Autopilot engaged. All of a sudden, a hawk came swooping down, likely for some breakfast, but almost met with his windshield. Nick, oh sorry, not Nick, says Autopilot didn't react, so he took evasive action before it had a chance to do anything. He simply couldn't take the risk to find out if it would detect the bird of prey or not. Joseph was heading south on US Route 101 in San Jose, California with Autopilot engaged when a Mercedes-Benz SUV approached from behind in the fast lane. Just as the Mercedes came up alongside his Tesla, its front right tire came off. Autopilot swerved to the right as the runaway tire rolled toward the Tesla, moving just enough so the tire missed while still keeping the car in its lane. The Mercedes safely stopped on the shoulder. That's something we learned from the comments in the video where the semi blew its tire. If you're ever in a situation where you lose a tire, don't panic and don't hit the brakes. Just grip the wheel firmly and keep the car steady without any sudden movements and let the car safely come to a stop on its own. Josh was driving his Model 3 with Autopilot engaged in Conroe, Texas when he noticed a beat up pickup truck swerving all over the road behind him. When the truck passed him, it hit a small dip in the road and a wheel broke off. Autopilot engaged braking as soon as the truck lost the wheel. We're wondering if this might have happened due to the smoke since it looks like the truck didn't leave its lane. Leave a comment and tell us what you think. Josh stopped beside him to make sure everything was okay. The driver was fine so they called a tow truck and the police soon arrived to make a report of the incident. Mike was driving his Model 3 with Autopilot engaged in San Jose, California when a distracted driver who was texting almost sideswiped him. Autopilot gave Mike a warning and swerved the Tesla to the right while also braking for the car in front of him. Mike saw that the guy was on his phone and that made him furious. At the next light, he tried to make eye contact with the driver to signal to him to put his phone down. Surprise, surprise, the driver didn't notice as he continued texting even after almost causing an accident. 
Mike is a photographer and runs the Instagram page Benta Media, and his Model 3 looks insane. That's what makes him even more upset with the guy texting. He's put a ton of time into the car with a wrap, custom wheels, and even a modified suspension. Please don't text and drive. Okay guys, we've seen cars driving themselves, but have you ever seen a fully automated parking garage? Luda sent us this video from Europe's largest automated parking system. It's located at the Dock 1 Library in the city center of Aarhus, Denmark, and it can hold up to a thousand cars at a time. The way it works is that you arrive, park your car in an elevator, get out, pay the fee, and off your car goes into the Skynet controlled garage. In goes a Honda and out comes a Tesla. Just kidding, that would be crazy. We'd end up with Teslas bumping into Teslas. We can see that the Tesla didn't like the automated garage as it flashed the sentry mode lasers multiple times as if signaling that it was in distress. Once it was in its designated parking spot, it sounded an alarm. Perhaps it was crying for its owner. A few moments later. Thanks for watching everyone. This was a super fun episode to make. It's also crazy how fun it is to interact with all of the submitters when making these videos. See you all next Sunday. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a cyber truck? My friends I'll drive diesel. I must make a